Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.2.1 untethered on the iPhone 4, iPad, iPhone 3GS, um, iPod Touch 2G, 3G, and 4G. So all the newer devices, if you have an older one, you can just use Red Snow or something like that. But this doesn't require the need um, of any saved SHSH blobs. Just any device that's on 4.2.1 can run it as long as you're freshly restored. Um, that is one requirement of this jailbreak is that you must restore your iPad or iOS device before you uh, run this jailbreak. So once you've done that, like any jailbreak, you're going to go ahead and need to plug um, your iPad into your Mac. And to download the uh, Green Poison, their site is currently down, but depending on when you watch this video, it might be back up. But just in case, here's a uh, cloud, uh, cloud app link in case you'd like to use that and it'll download it from there too. So either way, you have options, and um, it's nice to see that. So once you have downloaded it, you're just going to need to open it, and you're going to go ahead and need to turn um, your iPad off by uh, just going ahead and sliding the slider to the left. And then we're going to follow these instructions. We're going to hit jailbreak. So we're going to get ready to press and hold the sleep button right here. One, two, three. Continue holding the sleep, press and hold the home. We're going to let this run through. Then we're going to release the power button and continue holding the home button. And um, for the show break, I do recommend holding the home button until the code actually starts running down the screen um, because a lot of people are having trouble. And um, I'll go ahead and show you the code once it gets up right here. Should be right there. You'll get a white screen. Don't worry about that. And then you will get this code right here, and it'll say jailbreaking. Just keep holding the home button until the code starts running down the screen. So we'll go ahead and let it run. And just keep holding it until it is complete. Once it is complete, you can release the power or the home button, and the jailbreak will run through as it should. So just let it run through, and then um, it should boot up when you're done. And I'll get back to you once it's done uh, jailbreaking. All right, and once your iPad is done booting up, you're going to need to go ahead and follow these next couple steps. Now, if the uh, green poison servers are up, you're going to launch the green loader icon that is new on your home screen and go ahead and install Cydia. However, during the making of this video, um, I guess Cydia was not, um, the servers were not up. So I am going to show you the backup option. Now, if you do watch this video in a couple days, their servers will be up. So it kind of just depends on them. Um, Wit when you do it, but the basic option, the easiest option, is to do it from there. The second option we have here is to open up Red Snow um, 0.9.7 Beta 6. I will provide a download link to that. And this we are going to use only to install Cydia and not to jailbreak. So once you have that, you're going to need to go ahead and go to your downloads and find that um, IPSW right here. Let's see, 4.2.1. Go ahead and open that and it's going to process the firmware. And once it's done processing, we are going to simply install Cydia. Now, like I said, um, you don't have to do this if their servers are up. This is only um, if uh, this is the backup option as the, their servers are down. So let's go ahead and let it patch the kernel here. And we're only going to uh, install Cydia. We're not going to do jailbreak. We're not going to do anything else. We're literally just going to press install Cydia. So we're going to hit next, and it tells us that our device must be off, off and plugged in. So we're going to go ahead and slide this off. And once it's off, we're going to go ahead and hit next. We're going to press and hold the uh, power button. And then we're going to press and hold the sleep button while continuing to hold the power button. And then we're going to release the power button here in a couple of seconds. And now we're going to continue holding the home button. Um, this will only install Cydia, like I said, and you don't need to do this if the loader is working. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing run through. And you can go ahead and let go of the home button now, and we're going to go ahead and let it jailbreak. Alright, um, I guess I will get back to you once it's done, and um, once it's done through running all this code, I guess I'll get back to you. All right, and then once it's booted up, all you do is need to go ahead and slide to unlock, and there you have Cydia where we can go ahead and launch it, and it'll do its uh, installizing file system and all the setup like that. 
So that is it for this jailbreak, untethered. Like I said, you only need to do that last step if uh, the loader cannot load because the servers are currently down. But depending on when you do it, the servers might be up. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppleSX. Add me on Game Center at AppleSX. And be sure to favorite and share this video. Thanks for watching.